डियर फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फीडबैक कि व्हाट इज द फीडबैक व्हाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड ओके सो फीडबैक इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ इंजेक्टिंग अ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द आउटपुट एनर्जी ओके ऑफ द एम्पलीफायर बैक टू द इनपुट दिस इज नॉन एज फीडबैक ना इन केस ऑफ एन एम्पलीफायर इन केस ऑफ एम्पलीफायर you know there is an input and there is an output output which is amplified and uh, output knows about what is the input but input doesn't know what about the output what the output is but in case of feedback some when, when in case of the feedback when some part of the output energy is taken back to the input side and applied to the input now input also knows about the output so this is the feedback now in case of feedback circuit you know this is our uh, input signal it is given to the amplifier amplifier amplifies it and amplifier also introduces 180 degree phase shift so this signal is amplified but it is also out of phase to the input amplified as well as there is a phase reversal now this signal is taken back not the whole signal this network decides how much the signal is taken back so if the network is such it also introduces 180 degree phase shift so 180 phase shift is here 180 phase shift is here so total phase shift becomes 360 and this network also decides how much the output is output signal is taken back what fraction of the output signal is taken back so 180 degree phase shift here by the amplifier 180 degree phase shift by the network total phase shift is 360 when total is 360 it comes in phase with the input signal then this type of feedback becomes positive feedback okay when feedback and the input signal both are in phase positive feedback output energy is in phase with the input energy and hence increases the gain of the amplifier that is called the positive feedback so this uh, circuit already i explained 180 shift here 180 by the network 360 and it is in phase now positive feedback so total is 360 so they are in phase so for positive feedback increases the gain of the amplifier but you know there is disadvantage of the of the positive feedback advantages are less advantages only that uh, the gain now becomes high but uh, there is a disadvantage of the positive feedback like increased distortion and instability so positive feedback is seldom employed in the amplifiers one important use of the positive feedback is it leads to the oscillator in oscillations or in oscillator the positive feedback is used now we coming to the negative feedback so there are two type of feedback positive and negative negative having many applications positive having only one application so in this type of feedback you know negative feedback is also called degenerative feedback output signal is fed back in out of phase with the input as the name implies negative and it and it reduces the gain because it is a negative feedback of the amp is terms as a negative feedback and signal is the 
you know, circuit like this. This is the input signal, amplifier. It uh, introduces phase shift 180 degree. So 180 degree signal is taken back. Network decides how much is taken back. Now the network is such, it now never introduces any phase shift. The phase is the same. It is a fraction, but feedback signal is a fraction of the output, but it is in phase with the output. But the feedback signal is out of phase with the input. So that's why when it is mixed with the input, that becomes the negative feedback. Okay. So with the when the feedback energy okay out of phase with the input, that's called negative feedback. So amplifier introduces a phase shift of 180 degree and network uh, introduces zero phase shift, no phase shift by network. Total is 180 degree. So our feedback signal is out of phase with the input signal. Now feedback circuit can further, further classify voltage feedback, current feedback, compound feedback. Voltage feedback circuit. So, in this type of circuit, voltage feedback, the signal fed back to in proportion to the output voltage. The signal which is taken back, it is a proportion of the output voltage. And whatever may be the load impedance. Voltage feedback circuit further classified into the two classes. Series voltage feedback. Now look here, looking here, the output is taken from this terminal and this terminal. That means the voltage is taken back. But the feedback signal is applied only in one line. If it is applied in one line, it is called series. Output is taken from the two lines, mean voltage. So series, voltage, feedback. Now shunt voltage feedback. Now looking, looking here, there are the two connections, voltage taken back. Applied to the two lines, applied between the two lines means shunt. So this is shunt, okay. This is voltage, okay, and back, okay. Shunt voltage feedback. Now current feedback circuits. So, so in current feedback circuits again the output signal is proportional to the output current. Again there are two types. Looking here, the from one line the voltage sorry, from one line it is taken back that the current is taken back and applied in one line means series. So this, this, it is in one line, series. From one line it is taken back, mean current. So this circuit is series, current, feedback. Now this, this is another one. You know, looking here, this is current. From one line it taken back, mean current. Applied between the two lines, mean shunted. So this is shunt, current, feedback. Shunt, two lines, taken back one line, shunt, current, feedback circuit. So this is shunt, current, feedback. In compound feedback circuits, the circuits are designed in such a way, feedback energy partially proportional to voltages and partially proportional to the current. No totally current and no totally voltage. So the mixing of the two. So that's why it is called compound feedback circuit. So negative feedback having only one limitation because the gain decreases 
but it is having a number of applications. And uh, the three important applications are stability in gain, increase the bandwidth, and improved input and output impedances. So this is the reason that uh, negative feedback frequently used. Amplifier gain is A and uh, output voltage is E0. When given to the beta network, the output voltage becomes a proportion and that is beta E0. A is the amplifier gain. Beta E0 is the um, feedback voltage. So if the feedback voltage it is subtracted from the signal eg then it is a negative feedback circuit and it if it is in sum or in addition with the input signal then that is the positive feedback so if it is minus then it is a negative feedback the output e naught now because uh, now this is now given to the amplifier a and A, the amplifier gives the output, which is E0. So this is the signal given to the amplifier of gain A. And amplifier gives us E0 back. Now this is a circuit for voltage gain of the amplifier with the feedback. So let A is the gain, that is the gain of the amplifier without feedback. AF is the gain with feedback, okay? And for feedback gain, the input voltage is the net voltage of the whole circuit. That's the input voltage EG. Output voltage is E0 for the feedback gain. For the amplifier gain A, the input voltage is voltage applied to the amplifier, which is EG minus beta E0. And output voltage is E0 for amplifier gain A. And for AF, input is EG. Okay, this is E0. Here, beta V0, VF feedback signal. This is the input signal for negative feedback. So, amplifier gain is A. Just input voltage to the amplifier. It is EG minus beta E0 for negative feedback. And output voltage is E0. So, A is defined as output voltage over the input voltage. Now, the denominator is taken along the left hand side and then uh, it becomes A into EG minus beta E0 is equals to E0. Now, open the bracket and just simplifying it, just simplifying and E0 is taken as common. E0 is taken as common. Now, from here, the E0 over EG is calculated, which is the feedback gain. E0 over EG is feedback gain AF. AF equals to A over 1 plus A beta. The so feedback gain is A over A upon 1 plus A beta. So feedback gain is, you know, it is, uh, it, is dec it decreases, it is, dec it dec it is decreased by the factor 1 plus A beta. For negative feedback in AF is less than A, okay. So, this is the already, I explained to you the, how we calculate the feedback gain with negative feedback, okay. And, uh, Voltage gain with negative feedback is this. It is it it is decreased. It decreases by one plus a beta times to a. Now one plus a beta is called the return difference because like uh, a f is equals to a upon one plus a beta. 1 plus A beta is called the return difference. AF is sometimes called as the uh, closed loop gain because AF is also the feedback gain it is so called and sometimes called closed loop gain and A is called which is the gain of the amplifier. 
it is it is also called open loop key now <clears throat> number 1 if 1 plus a bit is given 1 uh and in magnitude as it happens in case of uh, the you know negative feedback then a f becomes uh, less than a that the feedback is negative if in magnitude 1 plus a bit is less than 1 in magnitude if it happens that it becomes less than 1 the magnitude of 1 plus a beta 1 plus a beta becomes less than 1 then what happens a f becomes greater than a feedback gain increases feedback gain increases in the amplifier gain feedback gain circuit you know that increases in the amplifier gain the feedback is said to be positive now if 1 plus a beta in magnitude becomes equal to 0 if it happens then a f equals to a upon 0 and something over 0 is infinity and the amplifier then becomes oscillator okay these are the different conditions